Hi guys, Alpha here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to add add-on vehicles and replacement vehicles into your 5M server. So firstly what we're going to do is obviously you can open up your directory going to your 5M server, but also you need to find a vehicle file that you want to add in. So I've just found this on this website called GTA 5 Mods, it's quite a popular one, you can find map add-ons, vehicle add-ons, player add-ons, loads of things on here, it's really useful. Um, I do recommend this website to look for vehicles. So I've just found this McLaren P1. It's got an add-on and a replacement version. So I'm going to use this to show both methods of how to add each type. I'm going to download it. And whilst we download it, I'm going to explain what each one is. So a replacement vehicle will replace a vehicle that's already in 5M. So like a, a stock, like a vanilla GTA car. So this one will replace the T20, which is like the GTA version of the McLaren P1. Um, and then an add-on is just a brand new model. So then the T20 will still exist as the T20 and then this will just be a new one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and I've already got two here. But then I'm just going to get rid of these and we're going to make new ones. So we're going to call this one the McLaren P1 add-on. And then this one the McLaren P1 replace because I'm going to do each type because they do have slightly different methods for each type. So what I'll do is I'll just drag this uh, compressed file and then I'll extract it. I'm using WinRAR to extract. You can use other things such as 7-zip. So now we can close that and then we can go inside of here. And here we have add-on and replace. Every single vehicle is made by like community. So it might be a different layout in each one. But for replacements, they usually just come with the files like this. So you've got meta files, YFTs, and YTDs. These .txts are nothing that you don't need to worry about them. So we're going to do replacement first. So I'll just get a second uh, file explorer open. And I'll go to the server directory. Here we are. All right, so we'll go into replacement. And then we need to make two folders in here. One called data and one called stream and then all of the meta files so car calls car variations and vehicles these will all go into the data folder and that's with any it might be you, have, you might have more than this but these are the only ones that have come with this any meta files will always go into the data folder and all of the others such as the yfts and ytds these will go into the stream folder and then we're going to need obviously as we do with every resource, a fxmanifest.lua. And we can go inside of this FX manifest. And then we can do the FX version. It's just like any normal resource, we're gonna need to do this so that it actually recognizes this folder as a resource. We need game, GTA 5. And then for replacement, it's different for an add-on and a replacement. For a replacement, you need to do files, then open up a little list, and then quote marks, do data slash, so this is just the directory, because obviously it's in the data folder, so we're doing data slash vehicles.meta, and then we'll do a comma, because it's a list of items. We're gonna do data slash car variations. Hopefully I'm not getting any uh, spelling mistakes. And then finally, it will be data slash calls dot meta. And if we've done that, we can close it and that will be done. Just close these as well. So that's done for a uh, replacement. That should work. So now we'll move on to the add on. So in here, we also had the add on. Now with add ons, it could also be for replacements, but mostly not. For add ons, you will most likely have a dot rpf file this is a compressed file and we're going to need an application called openiv which is just a gta uh, modding software it's completely free and i'll have the link in the description to download it when you uh, do it you're going to need to it will ask for the directory where you've got gta 5 installed just put in the directory where you've got it installed and then whenever you boot it up just press windows because obviously you know we're in windows And then it will open up. This may look confusing. Don't worry about it. It's not. All you've got to do is go to either open archive or open folder. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to do open folder. And then we need to find the um, 
directory that we're going for. So it'll be in here, resources, vehicles, and then it's in here. So I'll just select this folder. So now I'm gonna go into add-on, update, DLC packs P1. There it is, there's the RPF file that we're looking at here. We can go inside of this. And now this is inside of the compressed. So there should be data and X64. Data is, you know, the meta, the meta um, files. So now we can go into the add-on in here, do the same, create a data folder and a stream folder. So then all of these meta files will go into data. So as you can see there in there, now we can go back and go into the X64. We've got another RPF inside. This is a compressed, so we can go inside of this. And this is the YTD and YFT files, which will go in the stream. That's basically the model and textures of the vehicle. And then you can always check if there's vehicle mods. There's actually no mods for this vehicle. That's just like, you know, modifications that you do at like Los Santos Customs in normal GTA. Uh, there's actually none for this. When you see this data folder, this is just languages. Don't worry about that. You don't need that. It's only the RPFs that you need and the meta files. So the RPS will be extracted out and get the YFTs and YTDs. Then, just like the other one, we're gonna need an FX manifest.lua. This is just, you know, making it known as a resource to the server. So then we're gonna to need to do the usual FX version Cerulean. Game GTA 5. Uh, we can also do things like a description so add on mclaren you one you don't have to do that you can also do author and version and stuff you don't have to it's just you can and then we're going to need a files again and then here we're going to need all of the things that we had in the uh data folder so these we'll just put them in there data slash car calls dot meta data slash car variations dot meta data slash okay with dlc text we don't actually need to do that one so we can skip that we can do handling dot meta oh i missed out a comma on the line eight and then we'll do the final one, vehicles.meta. Okay, that's not actually all we need for an add-on version. We're also going to need to do data underscore file. And then each of these files, these .meta files, need to be recognized as what they are. So this is the handling file. And this is data slash handling.meta. And then we've got I put data files, whoops. Data file. And then we've got vehicle meta data file. This one is data slash vehicles.meta. Feel free to pause if you need to just check what I'm writing. Articles underscore file this will be data slash car calls dot meta data file vehicle variation file data slash car variations dot meta so there are other ones sometimes, such as vehicle layouts, uh, vehicle unlocks, like content unlocks, but they're not the ones that you actually need, like for this vehicle in, in particular. Sometimes you could also have a client script, like for vehicle names, but they're, they're not actually needed. So you can just use these for any vehicles, really. Um, like you're always going to need these four specifically um, for like any add-on vehicle. So you could just use this um fx manifest to like any add-on vehicle really obviously changing the description because it's not always going to be a mclaren um but yeah you're always going to need these four and you're going to need these data file lines to declare them um 
so you can always use this no matter what vehicle you're adding obviously you'd be changing these files in the data and stream but yeah you can just always reuse that fx manifest but now that we've done that we can actually um delete that and we can close open iv close that delete that so now we've got these we can actually go back to our server.cfg and i've already added them but you can add them in here so obviously the name of the folders that the resources are in and then once you've done that we can actually uh, close that and then start up the server i've made a shortcut to here you just go wherever your um, executable file is to start up your server and then we can check in the console just here that it's started up just fine it's also showing that the assets are taking up virtual memory that's fine physical memory that's fine there we go so we can see that they've started with no errors so now we can actually start up by them and test the vehicles out okay once we're in we can use the slash car script that we made in a previous tutorial to actually spawn in the vehicles so obviously for the replacement it replaced the t20 so i can try and spawn in the c20 and as you can see this is no longer the normal t20 it's actually the mclaren p1 the way that we can see that is obviously on the back there it says mclaren so we can see that it's successfully replaced the t20 and then for the add-on the way that you check what the spawn code is is you can go into the like the, the resource and then in the stream folder the name of this file obviously excluding yft or ytd whatever one you look at this here is p1 so that's the spawn code each vehicle has a spawn code like t20 that's the spawn code for the t20 so we can do p1 and that's the spawn code for the add-on version as you can see it's loaded in so although these although these look the same they are actually different vehicles one's the p1 and one's the t20 so that's how you do both add-on and replacement vehicles in 5m um, another note is when you're doing replacement vehicles they may not have a data like file that's fine that just means your replacement will only have stream that sometimes it will have it sometimes it won't if it doesn't just don't worry about it you don't need to mention it in the fx manifest.lua it should still work um, sometimes some models will be like corrupted or don't really work with 5m uh, this can be for a multitude of, multitude of reasons but um if it doesn't work it might not be your fault you, you always always you know check for errors but it might not be your fault it might just be that model doesn't work so you can try a different vehicle um i know that this mclaren p1 that i use does work so i'll leave the link for that one in the description so you can try that one as well um but that's everything for today i hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like leave a comment of what else you'd like me to do and um goodbye